Hi, my name is Dan Hochstein. I'm here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and I'm working remotely under Digital Collections Management and Services with project mentor Kate Murray and my co-fellow Mari Allison. Together, we comprise the team that's taking on the strategic planning and updates for the Digital File Formats project this summer. This project's work centers around continually improving and enhancing the sustainability of Digital Formats website, which I'll also refer to as the Formats site. This important resource provides data for information and analysis of over 530 digital file formats and yields an average of 40,000 globally distributed users per month. In addition to data surrounding the formats themselves, the site provides a number of sustainability factors that determine a format's ability to be preserved and rendered in a modern context. Because of this, the site is closely linked to the library's recommended format statement and internal digital preservation resources. In this context, a format is defined as any packages of information that can be stored as data files or sent via network as data streams. Our project is composed of two main task groupings. They represent distinct ways in which we contributed to the library's digital preservation initiatives through research and community collaboration. These two work streams combined to expand our digital preservation skills for the benefit of the format site. In the following slides, I will go into the project components in more detail. As the format site links to many external references through its description documents, part of our task this year was to check for functionality and current information surrounding these references. Identifying stable data by scouring the Internet Archive is occasionally necessary in order to provide users with legacy information related to file formats. Additionally, as new content emerges through standardization changes, increased adoption, or additional relevant information, we've been conducting file format research to update documentation accordingly. While many of our format descriptions describe formats currently in use, we also research legacy file formats that may be encountered when ingesting, preserving, or archiving data. For example, WordStar, a file generated by a word processing program of the same name that ceased official production in 1999. Another component of this task was enhancing our resources connectivity to other data initiatives around file formats, such as the UK National Archives PRONOM registry and Wikidata's list of file format information. One more key component of the project is to conduct a user survey of the format site's external users. While prior work focused on internal users, the resources connection to digital preservation professionals, underserved communities, and a broader general interest public make this a crucial component for strategies moving forward. For the survey, we implemented a hybrid approach that involved the distribution of a questionnaire and interviews that spanned various user bases. These included frequent power users that make contributions to the file format community, as well as a pool of identified questionnaire respondents that were geographically distributed and varied in experience with regard to digital file format research. These included frequent power users that make contributions to the file format community, as well as a pool of identified questionnaire respondents that were geographically distributed and varied in experience with regard to digital file format research. Many thanks to the Junior Fellows Program staff, Digital Collections Management and Services, and our project mentor for this unique opportunity.